have a special guest with us today. He is originally from Argentina. He was accepted into the University of Texas Medical School. Now, it's hard enough to get into UT, but to get into the medical school, you've got to be highly intelligent. But then God sent him back to his homeland, and he experienced revival, and a great calling came upon his life. And now, instead of a medical practice, he's praying for the sick. Well, you get them healed one way or the other. So God bless our dear brother Andres from Argentina. Bless you. <laughs> this is an incredible story. First of all, how did you get from Argentina <laughs> to America the first time? Well, I'm, we moved to the United States when I was young with my family. I was about 13 years old. So I went through high school here and college, everything. I went through in the United States. And you wanted to be a medical doctor. So did I before yeah. the Lord called me to preach. Yeah. And I'm glad I'm not a doctor. I'm glad I'm a preacher. I'm glad too. Um, actually, I just graduated from Baylor University here. And, um, Baylor Bears. Yeah. And I got accepted to medical school, went through the interviews <laughs> and took the MCAT. And um, once I was accepted, I went on an exchange program back to my country of Argentina. And I come from a Christian home, so I grew up going to church, studying the Bible in my house. and. I knew and heard a lot about the Lord, but I've never heard about the Holy Spirit. Wow. So when I went to Argentina, like it was used to, I was used to, went to church on Sunday, but I found myself in the midst of a revival. And I said, what is going on in this place? You know, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, uh, worship services <laughs> would last for hours. People would not want to leave. People would stand on lines to go into church. I would start, I began to see miracles with my eyes and um, I met the young people and they were so passionately in love with Jesus. And when I began to talk with them, I said, why is it that you have such a great passion for Jesus, such a great love for the Lord? And here, coming from a university here, you get exposed to so many different religions and so many different views that my love for the Lord had grown cold. And, um, and when I saw this, I was like, I want what these young people have. And that's when, for the first time, they begin to say, oh, we've all had an experience with the Praise Holy Spirit. The we all had a supernatural encounter with the Lord. And that's when, for the first time, they begin to talk to me about the Holy Spirit. And I said, I want to meet Him. If it's possible, I want to know Him, and I want to have a personal encounter with Him. So to make a long story short, um, that's when, coming back from a youth conference, we were in a bus. And a young friend of mine, a young man, friend of mine sat next to me and I said to him, you know, I'm looking to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And he said, let's pray. I said, right here in the bus. Wow, on the bus. And on the bus, yeah. And he said, I said, okay. So we closed our eyes and he placed his hand on me. And as we were praying, suddenly in a moment, just this, this is almost impossible to describe with words, but I felt this love just being poured into my heart and this like heat that came and surrounded me and this supernatural presence just embraced me. And I fell on the floor of the bus. And for the first time, the God that I knew since I grew up, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that I knew his stories, that I read about him and loved him and admired him and honored him, suddenly he began to speak to me personally for the first time. Praise God. And all I could do was weep and cry. For two hours, I was on the floor there in the bus, weeping and crying. And right there, that's when the Lord called me. He said, Andres, I'm calling you to take the gospel to the nations, to pray for the sick. Uh, he said, your ministry is not going to be of words, but of signs, wonders, and miracles. <laughs> and to take the fire of the Holy Spirit to the young people. And um, so right there, um, what happened is, is when you experience God in such an intimate way, yes. it's like you fall in love with Him. And it's not like He forces you to do it. It's like you fall so in love with Him that you just want to leave everything to serve Him. So that's how I, I came back to the United States and decided to leave medical school and started ministering the gospel. You know, it just reminds me of that scriptures that, that talks about, in, you know, in the last days I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh yes. and my young men shall dream dreams. and you probably never, um, you know, imagined that you would be doing what you were doing. And the, the neat thing about it is that you're not going in your strength, in your power, but you're going in the power of Holy Spirit. What is the difference? Well, when you go to these places, uh, I think the only way, well, anywhere in the world, because the Holy Spirit is the only one who can really testify of Jesus and reveal Jesus to people's heart. 
But uh, when you go to these places, people need to see that there's a God who's alive and a God who loves them. Yes. And nothing tells you I love you more than a miracle. When, when you get healed, when you couldn't see like that eight-year-old little boy and suddenly you can see, that's just God telling these people, I love you, I love you. Every miracle is Jesus telling them, I love you. So our desire is to go, not with our own wisdom or our own knowledge, but in the power of the Holy Spirit yes. and share, um, share the message of the cross, the message of Jesus. And the thing that the Holy Spirit came to do, and this is what I love him so much, is that he came to glorify Christ. And he came yes. to testify of Christ. And when you speak about Jesus and you glorify Jesus, he comes and he reveals Christ to these yes. people's hearts. And, and, and when they get touched with the Holy Spirit, there's, I mean, I've experienced it. And people who've experienced it, there's no way to deny how much he loves us and how real he is. Yes. I want you to just take a moment. I really sense the presence of the Lord here. And there are some of you that you need the touch of God in your life. And if you would just take a moment, Andres, and minister to those that are listening today because we're not bound by cameras. The Holy Spirit can go right into that room where you're watching this right now. And you know you need a touch from the Lord. So would you just minister as Holy Spirit directs you? Yes. I mean, you may be watching this in your home or wherever you are. And you may be asking yourself, is God real? Maybe you were raised in church like I was and you heard about God. Maybe you are even a Christian and you believe in Jesus, but there's a desire in you and you say, there's got to be more. There, there has to be more. I mean, I want to have an encounter with the Lord. I want to experience His love, His power. I want Him to speak to me and reveal His dream, His plan for my life. Well, you can have that encounter right there in your home. All you have to do is open your heart to Jesus. All you have to do is ask him to forgive you of your sins and then just say lord i ask you to fill me with your holy spirit and right there where you are he will come and he will touch you he will feel you and even if you're sick in your body he will heal you right there for our god there's nothing impossible so i want to encourage everyone who's watching this if you want to receive forgiveness if you want to receive eternal life if you want to receive a visitation from the holy spirit if you want to receive healing for your body, right there where you are, I want to encourage you to simply close your eyes and just from your heart, pray this prayer after me and pray it to Jesus. Right there where you are, say, Jesus. 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 I believe. I believe. You are the Son of God. You are the Son of God. Jesus. Jesus. I believe. I believe. You died for me. You died for me. On the cross. On the cross. And I believe. I believe, I believe that you were raised from the dead. You were raised from the dead. And that you are alive today. That, that you are alive today. Jesus. Jesus. I need you. I need you. I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for your forgiveness. And I ask you today. And I ask you today. To visit me. To visit me. With your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. To pour your love. To pour your love. Upon my heart. Upon my heart. Heal my heart. Heal, Heal my heart. heart. Heal my body. Heal my body. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Pour out your spirit in Pakistan, in Colombia, even in Israel, oh, all Lord. over the world where Thank people you. are watching this program at this moment, Lord. Pour out your glory. Yes, oh God. Let the knowledge of your glory cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Visit that young man watching, Jesus that young name. lady watching right now. Hide them under the shadows of your wings, Lord. Holy Spirit, come Amen. and pour out your fire upon their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.